This example will show how to draw inference lines in trust. For the trust show in the figure, we will draw the inference line for the member force in KJ. The moving unit load will move along the bottom part of the truss from A to G. The massive sections will be used to determine the member force in the truss. First, we need to do a section cut passing the member KJ. And the cut should pass no more than three unknown members. We will take the left part of the truss and draw free body diagram. Next, we will draw the influence lines of the reaction force AY at the support A. We treat the whole truss as one beam member and draw the reaction influence line. On the influence line, we need to mark the values at each joint from A through G according to the similar triangles. Then, we will set up a table with the unit load location X coordinate, support reaction AY, and the member force in KJ. The unit load will move around the bottom part of truss, so the unit load will be located at A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. When the unit load is at support A, the X coordinate of the load is zero, and the support reaction AY equals to one. Using the method of sections, sum the moment at point C and we get the force in KJ equals to zero. Then we move the unit load to the point B and the X coordinate of the load is eight feet. And the support reaction AY from the influence line of AY is 0 0.83. Use the mass of sections and sum the moment at the point C assuming the clockwise moment is positive, and we get 0 0.83, which is AY, times the arm of 16 feet, minus the unit load of 1, times the arm of 8 feet, plus the force in KJ, times the arm at 8 feet, equals to 0. Solving the equation, we get FKJ equals to negative 0 0.67 in compression. Input FKJ equals to negative 0 0.67 into the table. Next, we move the unit load to the point C, and X coordinate of the load is 16 feet, and the support action AY from the inference line of AY is 0 0.67. Use the method of sections and sum the moment at the point C assuming the clockwise moment is positive, and we get 0 0.67, which is AY, times the arm of 16 feet, plus the force in the KJ, times the arm of 8 feet, equals to 0. Note that the union load passes through the point C, so the union load has no moment contribution to the point C. Solving the equation, we get FKJ equals to negative 1.33 in compression. Input FKJ equals to negative 1.33 into the table. Next, we move the unit load to the point D, and the X coordinate of the load is 24 feet, and the support reaction AY from the influence line of AY is 0 0.5. Use the method of sections and sum the moment at point C, assuming the clockwise moment is positive, and we get 0.5 times the arm of 16 feet plus the force in kJ times the arm of 8 feet equals to 0. Note that the union load is at point D, so the union load doesn't show up in the free body diagram of the left side of the truss. Solving the equation, we get FKJ equals to negative 1 in compression. Input FKJ equals to negative 1 into the table. Similarly, we move the unit load to the point E, the point F, and support G. Use the mass of sections and sum the moment at point C and get the forces in the member KJ equals to negative 
0 0.67, negative 0 0.33, and 0, respectively. We input the corresponding values in the table. Last, we will draw the inference line of the member first in Kj. According to the table, we put the values of Fkj at each corresponding point and connect this point with straight lines.